Hey everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at um, distal tib fib joint. You're going to look for a posterior glide. So this is your patient who has a limited ankle dorsiflexion. So we're going to go, we're going to palpate. We're going to look at laterally, find the fibula. What we're going to do for that is you're going to take your other hand, go and grab onto the distal part of the tibia. Intrathenar eminence goes onto the distal part of the fibula. And you're going to take pressure, take up the slack, hold with this hand. Maintain as I push down and glide with my left hand. Take up the slack and we could spring. Now treatment wise, when we do that, if somebody has limited dorsiflexion, we could treat joint mobilization. We can go in, we could go to end range and mobilize it, or we could just go to end range, maintain that too, and then hold it for about 10 seconds to come off to get a stretch. If we want to progress that, we could go to a manipulation, which is a little bit more um, a little more aggressive, make sure Antonio was okay with it. Go through it, we checked it, we did our ligamentous stress test, we made sure he was clear, he was stable. We're gonna go through here now, we're gonna do the same part, we're gonna have the distal part of the fibula, hold it there. This part is on the other side, holding on to the tibia. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, this is gonna be the motion, we're gonna do one hand's on the top, one hand's on the bottom, and we're just gonna push it down towards the table. We're gonna get to that position, Antonio, that's how it's going to feel. Does that feel comfortable for you? Yep. Good like that. Once he's comfortable for it, we can take up the slack, and then we could go through and push through. And that's the manipulation part. So now after, we look for looking for uh, increased range of motion for ankle dorsiflexion. Okay. That's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.